involved. It's so fun. You get to meet so many different types of people and form different friendships. I've formed good friends in my grade and outside of my grade through clubs like Student Council or Interact or Spirit Club, FCA. There's just so many different people in the school because we're a large school and it's nice to have so many connections and friends and it just makes high school easier. Um, don't worry about the upperclassmen, just focus on yourself. Don't be afraid to make new friends whether they're in your grade or not in your grade. Uh, focus on time management, especially if you're in clubs or in a sport. You just want to make sure you have your life together and you don't fall behind on schoolwork. Some advice I would give to the upcoming ninth graders is I would just say that um, just take a deep breath, don't stress out, we're all going to be here to help you out and it's, it's going to be great. I would tell an incoming student to be involved in the pep rallies because setup is really fun and then whenever you're involved in the pep rallies it just makes that experience so much better. Hi, my name is Riley Garrison. I'm one of your student ambassadors here at HHS. I'm also going to be your virtual tour guide today. So I'm standing in front of the site entrances to the building and behind the camera is the student parking lot. So when you get here in the mornings, you will either stand out in this area or you'll walk through these doors. In this section, you can either stand around this area before school or go into the cafeteria, which is on my left, and sit in there and chill before the bell rings to go to class. On my right is the gym. There's two sets of doors to go in there that also are next to the bathrooms. After walking through there, you come into the commons, which is where we have break. Um, if you look at the ceiling or towards the ceiling, you'll see a bunch of names, which is the AP5 Club, the 30 plus club, 15 plus college hours, and national merits. So to my left is the library and behind me is third hall which houses mostly electives. Above the hallway doors are the numbers of the hallway. Second hall is actually a one-way hall, so you can only go this way down the hallway when you're switching classes. This hall houses mainly um, computer classes and English classes. After walking up second hall, you can take a right into fourth hall, which has your, all your history classes. And at the end of fourth hall, it tees into fifth hall. As I said, fifth hall tees at the end of fourth hall, and it holds your art classes and as well as some science classes. So we're back to the end of second hall and behind me is what is considered extended hall. It connects second hall and first hall. So these doors are where band and choir kids go out to the band hall and then this way is first hall and it's a one-way hall and so you have to go this way which is the opposite way that second hall goes and it houses mainly math classes and some science classes. Once you come out of first hall you're back into the commons and you're also next to the front of the building which is where the main office is and the counselor's office. These doors are where bus riders go at the end of the day and then if you have a class in the H pack you'll go through these doors. So this is the front office. This is where you'll come if you're late or checking out or if you need to call home or something like that. <laughs> 